I have control over what I eat and drink, my home, my garden. I can grow all my own bedding plants, magnificent displays, chunky flowers and lots of colour. I love colour. I can experiment with design, mixing perennials and annuals. I love transforming a long lawn in a big pile of dirt, hanging baskets with primulas, pots with purple and yellow pansies, baskets double stacked with colour. I've always wanted a vegetable garden, but my health problems have taken that away from me. What's the point of getting up? A chink of light through a gap in the curtains. Looks like a nice day. Can't bear it. Must go back to sleep. Can't face it. Can't face the day. Can't face getting up, getting dressed. Going through the motions for nothing. Can't bear looking out of the window. Watching children hurrying to school, holding hands with their mums, laughing together. I have no reason to get up. My child is gone, snatched from me by an unfair, cruel legal system. Today, the little things that matter. Can the little things still have an influence? Birdsong, it is the little things that matter. Birdsong, simple things, making where I live nice. Sunshine, growing things, renewal. Now I have cancer, life offers me a new beginning. Seeing my grandchildren, it's the little things that matter. Fuck the little things, screw cancer. Nothing matters but my son. There was another option. There was a way to bring back laughter. I love watching cooking programmes. Weekday afternoon. Gosh, that looks good. I could do that. Something with perno. The taste is good. The feeling divine, it hits my stomach. Goodness, the trouble was worth it. How would it have tasted if I bought the other ingredients? I ache to hold him, to get his breakfast. No, he's fibbing when he says he's brushed his teeth. I wish we could see each other. We used to go to the cinema. We would go swimming together, playing and splashing in the water. His little body against mine in the water. Whenever we went somewhere different, we would call it going on an adventure. I have no control over my life. I'm lonely. I'm not allowed to be. Like an old couple, my arm around him. His head snuggled on my shoulder. Now all that's gone. There used to be another option. The days would be so long and empty. My husband away and the children at school. It was the only decision I had control over. I don't need to go to the shops, I would say. But I had a choice to make. A decision to go to get something to drink. I stuck to the same drink. On a bad day, I'd make it to Safeways for breakfast. Three bottles of wine in a day, or a bottle of vodka. On three bottles of wine, 
I would have an opinion, dare to question the choices made by my husband, who ruled my life, my home, my empty days. Afterwards, I would pay for it. Cancer's easy to cope with. It's the least of my worries. It's in my bones. It's terminal. Living without my son is killing me quicker than the cancer. I will not give up. I will not die. I will not give in. I will not give up my love of my child.